I'm sure of it. Don't worry. Ugh. Not to me. All right. Yep. Come on. Oh, ho. N no. Eh? Uh Anyway, well, hmm. That's weird. Ah. Uh... Oh. Anyway, well, all right. Hmm. Aiden. Oh, man. What? Wh what? Whoa! I apologize about that. There, there. Whoa! Whoops. What the? Really? Hey! Whatever. Anyway. Hmm. You can count on me. Sure thing. All right. Taiga. Um, what's the matter? I. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Hey, I know! Alright. 
Hmm. Well... Eh? Hmm. Well. Aiden! <laughs> Thanks. Anyway. Hmm. Pretty please. You can count on me. I got this. All right. Well. Hmm. Yeah. Come on. Sorry. Don't worry. All right. Thanks. See ya. What do you think about this? Hmm. Yeah. And... <sighs> Yoichi! Fine. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, you're right. All right. I'm hungry. Hero? Whoops. Ha! <laughs> um... Yeah! Don't worry, I got this. All right! Leave it to me. Good morning. Ow. Oh. Huh? Don't worry. Fine. So... According to my calculations... Oh. My. God. Hmm... I don't want any of that. I told you. Well... Hmm...
Hashtag offended. How dare you? <sighs> Imbeciles. Oh my god. I can't. I just can't. But. Oh dear. No. Are you hiding something? Seriously? Indeed. Oh. Indeed. Anyway, ah, uh. <sighs> hmm. Lovely. Seriously? Anyway, Yas. Me. I'm confused. Um. Way. Mm hmm. Um. And. Huh? <laughs> Yoichi. Seriously. Ugh. Hold on. <sighs> that is true. Indeed. Wait a minute. Really? Hmm. So what? Hmm. So... Oh my gosh!
Edward. <sighs> yeah. Actually, seriously. I'm sure of it. Yeah, that's right. That's great! Great job! So... N no! However... Yeah! I don't know... Yeah, that's right. So... Um... Hmm... Good idea. Hey! Hey there. Guys. Whew. Um... Oh. Actually... Really? Um... Huh? Yeah, that's right. Um... Hmm... What? Hmm... I don't know... I see... I'm sorry... Hey! Um... Actually... Well... What? What are you talking about? Oh no... What? No! Huh? Are you serious? Ha! <laughs> of course not! <laughs> really now? Well! 
No way. Seto. <sighs> All right. Um. Come on! <sighs> oh! <sighs> oh! Not to me. Hold on. Yeah. Let's see. Are you serious? No. Well... Let's see... <sighs> um... Oh my god... What? Not really. Let's just get this over with. All right. Oh. Who? Huh? Crap. Hey! Taiga? Huh? Oh! Hey! Well... Oh! Ugh. Hmm. Um... Anyway... All right. Thanks. Uh, glad that's over. Anyway? Yeah, that's right. Cool. Felix? Of course. See you around. <sighs> Twinker Bell. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm? Well... Duh. 
Hold on. Yeah! I'm sure of it. Yeah, that's right. Hmm... Hmm... Well... Good idea. And there's more. Hold on. Are you sure it's okay? Twinker Bell? Hmm... Not to me? Um... Come on! Oh! Hmm... Sheriff broke back! Whoa! Well... Yoichi! Hmm... Well... I see. Duh! If that's the case... <sighs> Scoutmaster Yoshi... What are you waiting for? Yes, of course. Hmm. Actually... Whoa! Duh! Hmm. But... Oh my god! Hmm... Oh my god! Well... Huh? That's what matters. Yeah, sure, whatever. Listen. <clears throat> Hello there. Good morning. Um... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> what? Scoutmaster Yoshi? Oh! <sighs> As I was saying... Um... Oh! <laughs> I disagree. Speak up. Sir. Huh? Hmm. Dad? <sighs> anyway. That's right. Huh? Hmm. Well... That's right. Anyway... All right. I appreciate it. Hmm... I see. Aiden. Hold on. Hmm. Yes, of course. Anyway. Oh. Huh. W what? Well, all right. Hmm. But... Hmm... However... Well... Good job. Thank you. Just tell me if you need anything. Hmm. All right. 
Yes, sir. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. All right. That's right. Just follow me. Uh. Uh. Huh? Hmm. Hello. Oh. Ah. It's all right. As a matter of fact. Huh? Well. Uh. I'm sorry. I disagree. Well. On the other hand... Eh? That's right! Keitaro? Oh! Well... Furthermore... But... Well... That's right! Huh? What do you mean? Run along now! All right! Hmm, let's see. Actually... But... So... Oh. So... And there's more. Nope. I don't understand. Hmm.
Oh. That's right. <laughs> Hero. Hmm. All right. That's right. W wait. Um. Let's see. <sighs> um. Hmm, let's see. As I was saying... <sighs> ha! Yeah, that's right. Oh, hey guys. Edward and Lee told me all of you were pretty busy today. Hmm, looks like someone's missing from your group. Oh, I know. Katero isn't with you guys. Hmm, I wonder why. Cut the crap! We know what you did back at the beach! Me? What did I do? I've been as nice as I possibly can to all of you. We know you're the one who took that photo of Gramps! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on a second! Why are you guys suddenly blaming me? There's no point in defending yourself, Taiga. We've asked everyone, and all leads point back to you. Also, there's nobody else in camp who has any motive to hurt Keitaro like that. We know that you stole Keitaro's camera, took the picture the next morning, and tried to put it back in our tent. You thought quickly and dropped it in plain sight so the Scoutmasters would just report it as a missing item. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Can't you just accept the fact that Katero isn't really who you think he is? Just tell us the truth already. All of the people here in camp know that Katero wouldn't be able to do something like that. Why don't you just tell the Scoutmasters what really happened? This is fucking stupid! Keitaro does something wrong, and everyone is there to defend him?! It's because Keitaro is our friend. And he didn't even do anything wrong in the first place. Did you just say friend? 
That little shit hasn't done anything special ever since camp started, yet everyone thinks he's the king of everything! This whole camp was better off without him! Stop changing the subject and just admit that you're the one who took the photo! Fuck you! You guys think you're so smart just because you managed a stupid little investigation. Well, guess what? Nobody in this stupid camp will ever believe you! So what if I took that picture? What was your plan? To get me to go grovel in front of Goro and say I'm sorry? That old fart has already made his decision. I don't think that dusty brain of his has the capacity to have second thoughts. And besides, I won't go confessing anything to his ancient ass in a million years! You don't have to confess anything. I've already heard enough. J shit It's not what you think! We're just flat. Enough! I don't want to hear another word from you. In my office! B but Now! Tiger, I... Let me deal with him from here, Mr. Nagami. In the meantime, i like all of you to go back to your cabin. Yes, sir. <sighs> Yoshinori was right all along. Well... You're kidding, right? Well... Really? Um... <laughs> Gatoro? Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Thank you so much. to me. Well... I'm sorry. <sighs> Good evening. Gatoro? Are you kidding me? 
Scoutmaster Yoshi. Well... Right. Very well, then. Yes, sir. Hmm. <laughs> Uh... Um... Well... I don't think so. Guys. Uh. Um. Huh? Actually. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Perfect. Yeah! All right. Not to me? Of course. Yeah. <sighs> that must be them. Come in. Hello, sir. I've brought Mr. Nagame like you asked. G good evening, sir. I've been speaking to Mr. Akatura here. And it's clear to me now that you didn't take the photo we accused you of taking. You shouldn't have taken the punishment onto yourself for everyone else, though. I didn't bring you here to give you a lecture. I want to let you know that my decision to expel you has been lifted. Thank you, sir. I will instead be expelling Mr. Akatora. His reckless behavior this year, as well as his record from last year, proves that he's unfit to be a camper here. Y you're expelling Taiga? That's right. He's already caused so much trouble at this camp this year. If he's allowed to stay here, he will only disrupt the camp further. Sir, if I may, I don't think Taiga should be kicked out. I think you should give him another chance. What are you saying, boy? You do realize that if it weren't for what he did, you wouldn't have faced expulsion. Why do you possibly think he shouldn't be expelled? Well, I know what Taiga did was wrong, and I am upset that we aren't really the friends I thought we were. But if we kick him out of the camp, he'll never learn anything. I have to agree with Katero, sir. Do you seriously want this boy to stay here? After all he's done, he has caused so much trouble for you and everyone else. I am their leader. It is my duty to teach my scouts and guide them to do the right thing. Taiga wouldn't have done this in the first place if I had done my job properly. Forcing him out of the camp would just mean I gave up on him. I believe it's still worth giving him another chance. And besides, everyone deserves a second chance, right, Taiga? You surprised me, Mr. Nagami. I wouldn't expect you to defend and forgive this boy after everything he's done to you. Perhaps I was wrong about you after all. 
You really are a shining example of what a scout should be. Th thank you, sir. The same goes for you, Yoshinori. The boy is proof that you've guided your scouts well, and that at least some of them have learned what it means to be a good camper. I will respect both of your wishes, as I believe it's only fitting that one most affected by his mischief should decide his punishment. Let me be clear, though. This is your last chance, Mr. Akatora. If you wish to stay in this camp, I insist you apologize to Mr. Nagami right here. Well, what will it be, boy? Uh, I'm... sorry. Taiga... Now, go back to your cabin and think about what you've done. Be thankful that Mr. Nagami here is kind enough to give you another chance. I'll be here watching you to make sure you don't stir up any more trouble. You're dismissed. <laughs> Our previous scouts have thought about nothing but revenge for the actions Mr. Akatora committed against you. And the dedication your friends showed in standing up for you and never giving up into pressure is admirable. It's been a very long time since we'd seen something like that in this camp. You truly remind me of how things used to be when I was still a Scoutmaster myself. I now see what Yoshinora here sees in you. He made the right decision to take you in. Thank you for behaving so responsibly. You have my formal apology for the accusation I made against you, and all the trouble that came with it. In addition, be sure to thank your friends. If they hadn't pursued this, I would have never known what really happened. Their dedication to you as a friend is quite commendable. Thank you too, sir. I apologize for all the trouble we've caused. Yoshinori, I'd like you to resume the activities first thing in the morning. We are not letting this issue halt your productive streak so far. Yes, sir. What the fuck? Shit! <laughs> huh? Uh. N Natsumi! I... Um... Oh! Well... Wow! <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Come on. Not to me. Well, I wanted to apologize to you, Keitaro. For what? For yesterday, back at the beach. When I couldn't defend you from Sir Goro, I made it worse by telling him about the night swimming. And I'm also sorry for being so distant to you and everyone else right after. I should have stayed by your side knowing you were just as upset as I was. I understand, Natsumi. You were doing the right thing when you told the truth, and you needed some space to think about what happened, too. And besides, I still can't believe that you, out of everyone, risked so much to prove I was innocent, even if you had to break the rules. I can't thank you enough for that. But I'm just disappointed in myself. You couldn't count on me when you needed me the most. 
when I found out that they were really going to expel you from camp, that's when I had to think. Are the rules more important than you? Am I still doing the right thing? Not to me. When I found out that not even Scoutmaster Yoshi could stop Sir Goro from expelling you, I never felt so anxious. Just the thought of not seeing you again terrified me. And I knew I was going to regret it if I didn't do anything to stop it. That's why I tried to find a way even if it meant going against what I used to believe in. So, I'm really sorry for not realizing what- I understand, Natsumi. I felt the same way when I thought I was about to leave you behind. So I did my best to join Scoutmaster Yoshi and Miss Yuri to prove my own innocence as well. But what matters now is that things worked out in the end. Now that I'll be staying, I'm sure things will only get better from here on. I think so too, Keitaro. I'm really glad that I get to be with you for the rest of the summer. And there's one more thing I've been wanting to tell you. It's why I asked you to come with me here in private. W what is it, Natsumi? W well, um... You've been nothing but kind and understanding to me ever since we met. Nobody has ever treated me like that before. I've been wondering for a while now, how someone like me could even deserve your attention and care in the first place. N not to mention all the lessons you taught me, including the... Things? I'm not sure I... I, I mean the stuff we did back at the sports fest and th that other time at the beach. Oh... <laughs> I'm not saying I didn't enjoy or that I think it's wrong or anything. I would definitely do it again with you. Um... But I don't mean right now, of course. It's, it's not what I'm trying to say. It's okay, Natsumi. I think you're just a little tense is all. <sighs> I'm really messing this up, huh? This honestly played out better in my head. I didn't know talking about feelings would be this complicated. You can do it, Natsumi. I'm right here, and I'm listening. Well, it's just... After everything that's happened to us so far, I've started seeing you a little too- And I've never felt like this about anyone before. The thing is... I... I really, really like you, Keitaro. I mean, I've always liked you, but what I'm feeling is so much strong. Do you feel the same way? N Natsumi... You don't have to answer me right away, Keitaro. I know this must be weird for- I just wanted you to know how I feel about-